when Bad Out of Hell songwriter Jim Steinman was first approached about working with husky-voiced Welsh singer Bonnie Tyler on new music he was a little taken aback. I was primarily known for doing records for Meatloaf and my own records, which were these thunderous, Wagnerian, almost heavy metal, epic, stormy records, he said in 1983. I was a little bit surprised they would ask me, but my second thought it was a real challenge because of that. And I thought she one of the most passionate voices I'd ever heard in rock and roll since Janis Joplin. He also had an in progress he felt would be the perfect showcase for her powerful voice that he began writing during a recent lunar eclipse. I thought of it more as a fever song, he said. Most pop songs are about the lyrical side of love, the pleasant side. I've always liked writing about the other side, the darker side. An eclipse seemed like the perfect image to describe when someone is totally overwhelmed by love. It's like an eclipse. There's no more light at all. As he did with Bad Out of Hell, Steinman brought in pianist Roy Bitten and drummer Max Weinberg from the East Street Band to help create a bombastic theatrical sound. The original cut of the song was over seven minutes long, but for radio it was cut down to a four and a half minutes. They promoted it with a video shot in a Victorian hospital in Surrey, England, which you can watch right here. The song flew up the charts all over the world, reaching number one on the Hot 100 on October 1, 1983, knocking Billy Joel's Tell Her About It down a slot. It had a solid month in the top spot before Kenny Rogers and Dolly Parton took over with Islands in the Stream.